Hey, what's up, Psycho here. Um, today I was not very motivated to study, so I decided to replace my theory with liquid metal. I, I didn't need to replace it, but hey, I just wanted to, to see what what would be a passively cool laptop with liquid metal. Alright, so um, it's not hard to do. Uh, I did on this video, on this video a, a full guide, you know, with all the steps you need to follow if you want to do it. You can follow that step, those steps too, um, for another laptop, right? Uh, but just remind that if you want to do that, you're responsible. Okay, right? I'm not responsible for any damage you you'll do to your laptop. It's it's on your own, right? Even if it's easy, bad things happens, unlucky things happens, and you have to remind that. All right, so we'll need a few things. The first one of them is, of course, the liquid metal. So I'm using the conductor nut from Thermal Grizzly which is the number one on the market, I guess. Um, then we'll need some uh, alcohol to clean up any mess or just to clean the previous paste or whatever you need to clean. This is a good thing. Uh, then we'll need some insulators and the first one uh, I'll pick is the Tropicot. It's a spray, high temperature uh, insulator that we'll need and then some adhesive tape which also uh, resists high temperatures it's the Super 33 from Scotch that's the best one also I think we can find on the market alright and let's dive in the first thing we have to do is to clean up the previous paste so you can use some cotton or whatever you want to use if you have some difficulties to remove it just put some alcohol on it and that should be okay Alright, so now that everything is clean, we're gonna start this step two, which is the first layer of uh, insulator. Um, so don't forget to check the firstly the spray, and then gently apply some insulator spray on uh, some cotton, right? You know, make it make it wet. So, and then you just have to put the cotton around the, the CPU just to do a little wet layer on it. Yeah, so as I'm saying here, this um, this is a, an insulator spray, so it will create a protective layer on that and um, I'm not sure you can remove that layer once it's in place. So be sure you're not putting any any insulator, um, you know, liquid on the die itself, on the CPU, you know, on that mirror face. Just put it around on the green on the green surface to to isolate the little component that is on that. Then you let it dry for 15 minutes, and then we are starting again with the second layer it's the step three so um, my opinion on that is to do three layers of insulator so as it's you you'll be sure that if there is any you know any spread of liquid metal later that goes on your cpu for any reason that it will not you know make conductive conduction between two parts or two components
So now that you've applied all the insulator spray, the three layers of them, four if you want, five if you want, <laughs> I think over three doesn't really matter, you just increase the layer and well. So now you just have to put some insulator adhesive tape around the die. And again, it's just to prevent uh, from any spread, right? So if it's gonna spread, it's gonna spread over the tape and not over the CPU, right? So it's gonna also protect a little bit uh, the motherboard. So that's the second uh, layer of protection we had here, physical protection. Once you finish this, the step six is now to apply um, the liquid metal. Yeah, so this is a very important step. Be careful, go really easy and gentle with the syringe because it, it spread very easily, right? If you just push a little bit, it can spread all over your motherboard and it's gonna for sure damage your laptop. Oh yeah, I was very gentle and it just pushed a little bit over here. But it's okay because we have the tape, so it's protected. And we're gonna clean that later with some alcohol. So now you just have to adjust the right amount of liquid metal. So it's not really easy to judge um, how much amount you should put on it, but be sure that you put enough uh, enough liquid to to have, let's say, 0 0.5 millimeter or one millimeter of liquid metal over all the surface when it's flat. Like now, I'm just gonna make it flat and make it uh, become adhesive on the on the die surface. So you just have to stir it. And it's gonna make that mirror effect again once it's uh, it's properly adjusted. Alright, so I personally decided to use a third physical barrier when I use liquid metal. So I'm using some paste or you know anything that won't burn but is malleable. So I can just make the you know I can put it around the, the CPU. So eventually, if the liquid metal just spread over, it will be stopped by this physical barrier. So you can use. Uh, regular paste or any type of fix you know things that is not uh, you know that won't burn right that will resist to some temperatures and then you just have to make it flat to fit the the distance between the CPU and the headsink so that it just won't uh, it won't be a problem with the, the liquid metal. 
So yeah, if it, if that paste is too high, then there will be no contact between the liquid metal and the etching. So you have to judge that uh, that distance. And finally, you can adjust again the thickness of the liquid metal on the CPU. If it's enough, then don't touch it. If you need a little bit more, then adjust it. And put some uh, liquid metal on the heatsink, on the copper heatsink, in the center of where should be the CPU. Then stir it a little bit to make it uh, stick on the heatsink, so that it will just facilitate the heat transfer between the CPU and uh, the heatsink. Don't forget that you still can uh, pull the syringe to, you know, suck the liquid metal, the excess of liquid metal. Right, I almost forget the last part, which is a little bit important uh, for this kind of passively cooled laptop. Um, so because the liquid metal has a high thermal conductivity, it will dissipate all the heat. And the little copper I think inside is not enough, so this is why you should add um, you know, some thermal paste to make a contact between the heatsink and the bottom cover. So it will just dissipate more. Alright, so after putting everything back together, we have a nice improvement here, 17 degrees in idle mode. So with the standard paste I had 55 degrees around for the package, and with liquid metal I'm around 38, which is very nice for a passive laptop. And now I wanted to see in load what the improvement and we have 13 degrees improvement while playing on Valorant. Previously I had with the standard paste 68 degrees Celsius and now with the liquid metal I'm around 55 degrees which is a really nice improvement. So it's literally the idle temperatures but overload now. So yeah. It's a victory. Okay, so feel free to do the same for your laptop if you wish, but don't forget that you are only, you know, the only responsible and bad things can happen. Uh, I know that, I've experienced that, and unfortunately, yeah, if you don't feel it, just don't do it. There's just no need to do that on this laptop um, unless you really want to tweak it and play with it like me. If you like this video also, just drop me a like, that would be amazing. If you have any question, if you want to discuss about it, just go in the comment and I will, I'll be very happy to, to answer and discuss with you about that. And if you want to see more, consider just subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.